thanking you, all of audience, participants, and organizers. I'm first transgender in India as a principal. Not only first, I'm only. So I feel not proud like only Bimal. I feel too much lonely and alone because my present situation like as Mahabharata Chishanku, a mainstream today, still now, mainstream is not agreed to accept me and my community not uh, ready to accept me. So I have no I have no community, I have no life. My previous speaker spoke about the excitement of family, excitement of friends, excitement of children, daughters and sons. Um, I have no excitement. I'm very alone and very alone. I, I'm, I feel always lonely. So I uh, did, I wrote here and I express myself for, for my writing. In this age, transgender revelation in present era, at the outset I would like to give thanks IIFT TEDx for giving me such a big platform to express my thoughts and feelings. I myself feeling highly privileged and honored to be here. Now I would like to speak on the transgender revolution in present era. I, Dr. Manabi Bandapathai, recently came into limelight in the whole country. I represent, especially the transgender community, every day we come across on the street. Some would dress up in female attires, clapping on the roads and beg arms to earn their livelihood. Mainstream people do not pay respect to this class, rather they look down upon them with the content. But I am an exceptional transgender who runs the, the college as a principal, travel by my own car, owns my own flat properties. In one word, I live in a dignified lifestyle because I have sound education. If I wouldn't have formal education, people would not hold me in high esteem. So being a transgender, I myself feel education is the first and foremost weapon to fight against the all odds and buffets. But my community people can't access to receive education in school or college or university. They are bared to enter in those educational institutions. Sometimes students, even teachers, sometimes students, even teachers, as well make fun at them, irritate them every twist and turn since this class does not receive education. The remain in dark so they have no other choice except begging and so business. Please uh, look parai. some. This is the begging situation and a guru shishya parampara in transgender and hijra community. ठीक है चेपोनो हजार पांच सौ टका काजोल चुटकी मेघा इरा तीन जन मेंगे चुके हैं मांगर पौड़े 
এরা শো করেছে কত পাঁচ হাজার টাকা পাঁচ হাজার টাকার মধ্যে আধিয়া পেয়েছে সাগর আড়াই হাজার টাকা আড়াই হাজার টাকার মধ্যে আবার এদের হিস্সা হয়েছে তার হিস্তাদার বা ঘরের চালানাতি স্বইচ্ছায় যদি কেউ রাখে তার মানে কি এই কাটাকাটির জন্য চালানাতি বলবে পেটটা আমার হিস্তাদারের জন্য আমরা চুরি হিস্তাদার কি তোমাদের ঘরে নেই দিস ইজ বেগার সোসাইটি গুরু পর গুরু শিষ্য পরম্পরা সোসাইটি অন্ডেন আই সো দা সো বিজনেস ইন ভারত বাংলাদেশ এন্ড পাকিস্তান দি বাউন্স টু টেক দিস প্রফেশন দেন টু সো বিজনেস mainstream society did not accept them they built own society own community there is a type of hijraz uh, someone castrated and someone non castrated they are always conflicted them they, who is true hijras castrated claimed that they were, they are true hijras and non castrated claimed that they are true transgender so uh, they are always conflict them in their community cruel situation i envisaged as a principle we can uplift their standard of living by making concerted effort in the field of education job health etc usually these people maintain protect disciple lineage but i broke this unbroken chain of this ethnic class transgender and hijra both are ambiguous word but it has two different meanings of late the word hijra is considered as a occupation the transgender word is coined very recently this word was not prevalent from the time immemorial i still strictly remember there was no such word in dictionary all the effeminate boys who have gender fluidity are considered as hijras the word hijra was a slang repulsive in less few centuries ago in my childhood time if a boy became hijra her whole family would earn bad name in the society and the person is considered as a black sheep or disgrace in her whole family for this reason we become unwanted in the family when people heard that there was a hijra in a family people would break the matrimonial knot even sometimes society would outcast the entire family that that is why they were considered in in uh, aspirations when they were ostracized from their family 
society they would become vagabond and wandered about here and there in search of money for shelter etc so those ostracized people together started living and formed their hijra community this is how hijra community came into being hijra's lifestyle are cars in a civilized society in order to uplift their standard of living the honorable apex court had delivered a historical verdict on 15th april 2014 but the verdict was neither effective in the central nor in the state level government property much consciousness is needed not for the people who supposed to get the benefits but for the people who make this verdict effective the mainstream people who form the majority their considerations become country's law on the other hand being minority our class is much neglected even does not get proper respect they are treated worse than a beast this is the main reason they are bound to leave the mainstream within a civilized society to keep a group of people at bay by discriminating on the ground of sex and gender is not justifiable rather rather it is a disgrace from civilized society it was much late to understand by the civilized people in our society but but it is true that it is better late than never today hijras and transgenders are shown as different communities in reality all hijras fall under the transgender category but all transgenders are not hijras the people those who did not go for hijra occupation rather they accepted as challenges in order to established in the mainstreams even before them mainstream also bowed down their heads i myself accepted challenge by determining my heart and soul today i became principal but i didn't beg before anyone this is how i made his story in this country evoke i want to evoke this people by imparting proper education ensuring their health job and other social accepts accepts and equal rights like other mainstream people before evoking this people i want to evoke the mainstream people so that they embarrass this ostracized class with all humility it is very important large scale sensitization and awareness are required in order to evoke the mainstream classes enlighten when mainstream people awake become conscious and embarrass them embarrass them with all humility then we can expect a better place to live in harmony thank you